Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss mechanical advantage of 4 bar linkage. Mechanical advantage of a 4 bar linkage is the ratio of output torque to input torque or output force to input force. In the coming slides, let us see how to derive equation. In this picture shown is a typical 4 bar linkage and this link AD is a fixed link, length is L1 and this link AB is crank, length is L2 and BC is coupler, length is L3 and CD is follower and length is L4. Let us call this angle between fixed link and crank is theta2. Now let us draw a line from B to D. So let us say that length is L. So the angle here, let us call that gamma and angle here phi. So angle from here to here, let us call beta. So angle from here to here, it will be beta minus phi. So now apply, now let us apply cosine rule for A, B, D, triangle A, B, D to find L. So L can be written as L equal to square root of L2 square plus L1 square minus 2L1, L2 cos theta2. Using this equation, we can find L. Now, from this triangle B, C, D and this angle is phi, let us apply cosine rule, cosine rule to find this angle phi. So, L4 square equal to L square plus L3 square minus 2L, L3 into cos phi. So, from this equation, phi equal to cos inverse L square plus L3 square minus L4 square by 2L, L3. Using this equation, we can find angle phi. Now, the angle between these two lines from here to here is beta and angle between these two lines is beta minus phi. Now, let us apply cosine rule for this triangle A, B, D to find beta. So, the cosine rule is L1 square equal to L square, L2 square plus L square minus 2 L2 L cos beta minus phi. So, from this equation, beta can be written as beta equal to phi plus cos inverse L2 square plus L square minus L1 square by 2 L2 L. This equation is true for theta to uh, between 0 to 180 degrees. For theta to greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees, this equation is modified as beta equal to phi minus cos inverse L2 square plus L square minus L1 square by 2 L2 L. Now let us apply cosine rule for this triangle again B, C, D to find gamma. So from this triangle we can write L square equal to L3 square plus L4 square minus 2 L3 L4 cos gamma. So from this equation we can write gamma equal to cos inverse L3 square plus L4 square minus L square by 2 L3 L4. Now let us see mechanical advantage equation. So this is the 4 bar linkage here in red lines. So now a torque of T2 is applied on the crank uh, clockwise direction. So there will be a resisting torque of T4 that is in the counterclockwise direction shown here. So the mechanical advantage is T4 by T2. Let us see how to derive the equation for that. So now since there is a torque here acting towards this direction that is clockwise and there is a resisting torque acting in counterclockwise direction. So because of these two torques, this link, coupler link will undergo compression. So the compressive force in this link is F32 or F23. So both are equal. So now let us extend this line here and let us draw a perpendicular to that. And this angle is beta. So this angle will be 180 minus beta. So this length will be L2 into sine 180 minus beta. So now let us take moments about this point here. So T2 equal to F23 into this length. So that is written here. T2 equal to F23 into L2 sine 180 minus beta. So sine 180 minus beta is sine beta. So T2 equal to F23 into L2 sine beta. Now let us see this portion of the linkage here. So the T4 is acting towards this direction. Now let us draw a perpendicular line onto this line here. So this angle is gamma. So this distance will become L4 sine gamma. So 
now let us take moments about this point here for this linkage so t4 equal to f32 into this distance so that is written here t4 equal to f32 into l4 sin gamma so now we have seen t2 and t4 equations now mechanical advantage is t4 by t2 let us substitute this here in this equation so it will become ma that is mechanical advantage equal to l4 sin gamma by l2 sin beta so this is the equation to find mechanical advantage of a four bar linkage in the previous slide we have seen this equation t4 by t2 so this is t2 t4 by t2 equal to l4 sin gamma by l2 sin beta so in this equation if beta equal to either 0 or 180 degrees then this equation t4 by t2 will become infinity so when beta is either 0 degrees or 180 degrees the denominator of this equation will be 0 so the mechanical advantage will be infinity so in this position a small amount of force or torque will generate a very high amount of output force or torque so a mechanism in this position is said to be in toggle position such toggle positions are often used to produce a high mechanical advantage so for example in clamping mechanisms so these two conditions when beta equal to 0 or 180 will occur like this so in the first position here shown in this triangle here a b prime c prime and d so here beta is 180 degrees when mechanism comes in this position that is crank and coupler are in line so in this condition mechanical advantage is infinity so another condition is when crank and coupler also come in the same in the same in, in line but angle between these two beta is zero so in this condition also the mechanical advantage is infinity so this will happen in crank racker for bar linkages so in this mechanical advantage equation l4 sin gamma by l2 sin beta so if gamma becomes either 0 degrees or 180 degrees then numerator of this equation will be 0 so mechanical advantage will be 0 so when gamma is either 0 degrees or 180 degrees the numerator of the equation becomes 0 so mechanical advantage will become 0 so this posture this posture is called dead center posture so at dead center posture mechanical advantage is 0 that means the mechanism is in the locked position so an external force such as a spring must be used to unlock linkage from this from this posture so this condition will occur usually in double rocker for bar linkages so the two conditions are shown in this picture here so in the first condition this triangle a b prime c prime and d so you can see here gamma that is angle between coupler and follower link is 180 degrees so another dead center another uh, dead center posture occurs when gamma is zero so like this so a b double prime c double prime and d so these two are dead center postures that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching